Hi Miss Tan. Recently, as a side project of mine, I was researching how the development of cash crop plantation in colonial Singapore affected the natural environment. I thought that I should come to you to find out more about this. I am glad to help you with your research. Why don't you share with me what you have found out so far? Sure. After the British arrived in Singapore in 1819, there was a phase of rapid agricultural expansion, one of which was the Gambia and Pepper Plantation. The Gambia Plantation started to boom in Singapore in the 1830s after being discovered to be a good source of tannic acid. Business thereafter boomed originally as there were high demands from England and America. Lastly, not forgetting the Gambia King, businessman Xia Yu Ching. He purchased an 8 mile stretch of land between River Valley Road and Bukit Timah Road for his Gambia plantations, making him the largest Gambia planter in Singapore. Well done! Now, to help you discover more about these plantations, let me bring you back in time. Wow! This is so cool! So many plants! Hmm. What was the purpose of the Gambia and Pepper plantations in Singapore? Gambia and Pepper cultivation was key to sustaining Singapore's economic growth, which led to the many plantations in Singapore, just like this one over here. Seems like plenty of land was used for agriculture. Were there any damage done to the environment? This map from the 1930s shows how the area is covered in jungle and greenery. The other map from the 1950s refers to the same area from before, where the greenery was destroyed to make way for the plantations. So why was there so much land deforested when the plantations only occupy a fixed area of land? Now that's where you are wrong. These cash crops rid the soil of nutrients after a period of time, so they required a planting practice shifting cultivation. When the soil was no longer fertile, plantations would have to move on to new virgin land. My goodness! What are some other impacts of the cultivation of gambia and pepper? There were also many losses of flora and fauna due to agriculture. Some losses include all the trogons, hornbills, broadbills, all but one barbet, more than half the babblers, woodpeckers and others. Another negative impact was the loss of habitat for the tigers so they preyed on humans. Being a threat to humans, this led to the rise of tiger hunting. Due to the increase in Gambia and pepper cultivation, it invaded the space that was needed for tigers to breed, hence straining the survival of tigers in colonial Singapore. Thanks for sharing this with me. This will certainly help me with my project.